I really do believe it's conceivable that right now there's one development in the smooth manner sacred. Wow, this is astonishing. We will be advancing such a great amount in the approaching 10 years found 7 trillion miles from Earth is an exceptional disclosure made by the James Webb Telescope City Lights in Space. This momentous finding has touched off serious areas of strength for of interest and the chance of extraterrestrial life. The telescope zeroed in on Proxima Centaur be the nearest exoplanet. To Earth showing uncommon splendid lights exuding from it what could be liable for these city lights on Proxima Centaur be might this at any point connote the presence of life beyond our planet accompany us as we dig into how the James Webb Telescope distinguished these phenomenal objects in space over recent years researchers and people overall have done research to get a brief look at life beyond our nearby planetary group any proof apparent to back up this dream of about space has been readily. Invited over time as of late mainstream researchers got the shock of their lives when strong proof of living things existing in space was seen by the James Webb Space Telescope while exploring space and transferring essential data back to Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope saw unusual city lights sparkling from the exoplanet Proxima Cetor be similarly as its name suggested the city lights seemed as though they illuminated a far-off city. The chance of an extraterrestrial city existing on the Star has left researchers pulling in awe. All of them are confused on the grounds that it appears as though this is the presence they've all been sitting tight for on the off chance that this ends up being valid as everybody naturally suspects it will be. It intends that there are wise living things coordinating civilizations unfamiliar to what people know in space and we are just barely finding it looking into the city lights that are found seven trillion miles from Earth. NASA specialists can't. Resist the urge to consider how long these lights have shown in space trusting that people will develop the necessary innovation to recognize them. David Kipping, a cosmologist from Columbia University, describes the Proxima B exoplanet where the city lights were found as precarious. He said so on the grounds that this star system closest to us has changed warming examples that aren't like different planets the standard rough. Planets are known to take in daylight and transmit infrared radiation. However, it's not so for this exoplanet as its infrared nature is very not quite the same as that of its host star named Proxima Centa. This mentions for a decent observable fact by the James Webb Space Telescope JWST and the telescope proved to be useful as the right device for the gig. The JWST can undoubtedly identify infrared frequencies. The trademark heat mark of Proxima B will assume a tremendous part in finding the general mysteries of its climate. This will be due due to the most recent. Innovation of infrared imaging capacities moved by the JWSD researchers anticipate using the telescope to uncover the secret encompassing this planet's air and conditions. They additionally expect to utilize the Webb telescope to actually check the conceivable outcomes of dwelling on this exoplanet. The James Webb telescope has an infrared responsiveness that is expected to investigate what occurs at Proxima Centaur B's nighttime getting the slightest beams of light in the grandiose hazy is Typically a battle for space telescopes yet not for the JWSD as it can choose even the littlest beams of light from space. It's the ideal instrument to confirm assuming the gossipy tidbits about city lights on Proxima's night side are valid or misleading. Each counterfeit enlightenment in the universe can be detected by the telescope as long as it falls inside a recurrence band that is multiple times smaller than starlight. How does Proxima send to be contrast with planet Earth Prox B has an Fascinating connection between its heavenly highlights and surface collaborations, the day side of the exoplanet contains numerous sun-powered chargers that saddle the foaming brilliant energy moved by the star. The spectral edge likewise mirrors Inkle light beams simultaneously. When Proxima B finishes its circle around its host star Proxima sent to it encounters constant periods very much like what we have on Earth with the daytime getting high on sun-oriented heat and the night encountering. Coolness the planet is known to have temperature vacillations not entirely set in stone by its synthesis for instance assuming there's no air on Proxima B the distinction between its day and night periods will be wide and far between assuming there's no safe impact of air gases and sees the temperature of the day side will be so sweltering like a dark body and the night side will terribly drop into cold dimness the level of temperature. Variety is a decent subject for stargaze to unwind a more. Profound comprehension of Proxima's airpiece having an unmatched infrared imaging capacity the JWD can productively look at the planet's warm discharges to give smart information about its air property. Strangely, the circle of the JWSD around the Earth falls in arrangement with Proxima B's orbital period mentioning total observable facts of its day and night periods inside 11 Earth days. Since it for indeed has an air the following stage will be to eval-val its air science to decide whether it can oblige life a few decent pointers in deciding whether there's life are the presence of gases like oxygen water vapor and methane on the off chance that these components can be found in the world it implies that it upholds livable circumstances the course of effectively deciding this expects researchers to be fastidious enough as they catch and inspect light beams that travel through the planet's environment this is an unquestionably provoking errand to embrace race regardless of whether the 
JWSD has extraordinary capacities for portraying planetary climates. It has an alternate significant objective. The telescope has been intended to just dissect the varieties in water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane fixation with regards to recognizing reinforced oxygen, which is a fundamental sign of life. The JWSD is restricted in this space, all things being equal. The telescope actually has substantial motivations to look for different components in the world. One of such reasons is ozone, which offers a precise degree of imperativeness in the air. It's additionally important that the James Webb Space Telescope doesn't have outright capacities and can peer at a couple of the nearest livable universes to Earth, completing an exhaustive air examination. Stargazers are presently leaning toward ground-based observatories like the extremely large telescope Yeli. The Yeli is a telescope that has been booked to begin working in 2028, and it's painstakingly situated to look further into the air. Design of faraway exoplanets, it will deliver information on these planets that will offer far-reaching and striking knowledge into their degree of livability. NASA researchers and everybody are joyfully hanging tight for the sending of future space telescopes like these up to that point. Anyway, the James Webb Space Telescope will keep on being a crucial device in our journey to reveal the secrets of far-off exoplanets even with its flow limits. The James Webb Telescope can potentially offer profound knowledge that will reform how we might interpret exoplanetary investigation now and later on. Researchers have a target for future space telescopes, and that is to lessen how much splendid light coming from a planet's host star so cosmologists can obviously see the lights reflected from a planet itself. They intend to do this by utilizing internal veils or massive outer satellites that are molded like an umbrella like utilizing your hand to shut out beams of the sun to empower you to see an article more clearly that I end. The bid to decrease the wild splendor coming from the host star. Future telescopes will be better situated to concentrate on faint impressions of light coming from a far-off exoplanet, considering an unmistakable examination of its air, and the probability of supporting life doing this accompanies its own difficulties anyway researchers should separate between gases created from organic cycles and those created from geographical cycles, for example volcanic activity. Space experts aren't yielding in that frame of mind to comprehend the qualities of exoplanets so. They're more ready to find indications of something going on under the surface and recognize them from false positives. The Webb Telescope contains a view of logical progressions from the examination of exoplanets, offering a slip look into the astounding revelations we're yet to find as we stretch our comprehension and investigation of the universe. Increasingly far, we are better situated to comprehend the, the functions of the universe and our different jobs in it in the wake of glancing through. Every one of the planets in space researchers presently can't seem to find any that have life regardless of many years of scanning through space for indications of something going on under the surface. The journey for types of life on different planets proceeds. Are we alone in the universe for a long period of time throughout human civilizations? People have consistently contemplated whether they are the only ones residing in the universe. This is an exceptionally old yearning that still hasn't. Left us right now, even till today, researchers have the James Webb Telescope in space attempting to recognize outsider civilizations concealed among us while concentrating on a wide range of planetary bodies for indications of something going on under the surface simultaneously. The story that a few outsiders are really something else in the stars only trusting that people will find them is for sure a popular story to give. Response to this question, two American stargazers, Jill Tarter and Thomas. Pearson started a venture called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence SEI in 1984, known as the SEI Institute. This is a philanthropic endeavor that intends to filter through grandiose transmissions to get only radio transmissions from space. Radio transmissions can travel significant distances without getting dissipated or consumed like different kinds of radiation, consequently their choice to zero in on them because of this trademark highlight radio transmissions are bound to be. Distinguished by the 42 radio telescopes that that compre the Allen Telescope Array found in the Fountain Hills of California, however, the CI Institute has strictly noticed indications of these radio transmissions produced by extraterrestrial life. There haven't been any such transmissions for over 30 years. Jill Tarter is enthusiastic that they'll have a positive outcome as they need to utilize the instruments of the 21st century to speed up the search. In the words of Jill, I wish that you would. Engage Earthlings everywhere to become active participants in the ultimate quest for cosmic organization. Are there other ways to recognize extraterrestrial life in space besides receiving radio transmissions? There have been several recently proposed ideas that life forms on different planets can be identified by their use of artificial lighting similarly to how we have in our cities on Earth space experts of Obi and Edward. Turner made this idea, however, the feasibility of the hypothesis has been. 
Met with many challenges this implies that space telescopes should zoom in on individual stars within the universe to determine if any of them contain an extraterrestrial civilization. Researchers believe that extraterrestrial civilizations undoubtedly use artificial lighting to extend the sunlight hours so they can remain productive for longer similarly to what we have on Earth thus they feel that a space telescope is sensitive to these artificial lights will be able to detect such. Extraterrestrial cities they also argue that advanced extraterrestrials residing on exoplanets far away from their host stars would have to use giant mirrors to gather light and direct it to their homes if a telescope can be built to detect artificial light produced by a high-level civilization it could offer researchers another fascinating method to find intelligent extraterrestrial life the NASA engineers imagined. That the James Webb Telescope could recognize AR Ischel lights however it's worth. Noting that this telescope can only do so if the light falls within a frequency band that is multiple times smaller compared to starlight it's a hopeful idea that future telescopes can be optimized to detect such transmissions better imagine a future where telescopes are sufficiently advanced to recognize artificial light from planets it's a promising idea the search for extraterrestrial intelligence that he has captivated the minds of researchers and the public alike for a long long time. Beyond radio transmissions and artificial lighting scientists have explored different avenues to detect signs of extraterrestrial civilizations. One intriguing idea revolves around looking for megastructures in space, specifically searching for evidence of Dyson spheres or Dyson swarms. Proposed by physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960, a Dyson sphere is a theoretical megastructure that a high-level civilization could build around a star to harness its energy. The idea involved involves constructing a giant sphere or a series of orbiting solar power satellites a Dyson swarm around a star, thereby capturing a significant portion of its energy output detecting Dyson spheres or swarms, presents a remarkable challenge these structures would emit infrared radiation due to their absorption of the star's light and subsequent radiation, as waste heat, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, with its advanced infrared. Detecting capabilities might be able to recognize such signatures, however, recognizing natural. Celestial objects and artificial megastructures remains a formidable task. Another avenue of investigation is the search for Tekken signatures, specific indications of technology or industrial activity associated with advanced civilizations. These could include atmospheric pollutants characteristic of industrial processes, unusual concentrations of gases, or even transmissions from communication. Satellites researchers are developing algorithm RMS and observational techniques to sift through vast. Amounts of data gathered by telescopes like the JWSD to identify these potential techno-signatures advancements in telescope technology continue to expand our ability to explore distant worlds and detect subtle signs of life, for example the upcoming extremely large telescope ELT scheduled to start operations in the late 2020s promises much greater observational power with its enormous light collecting capacity and advanced instrumentation the ELT will delve deeper into the secrets of Exoplanetary climates and surface conditions additionally space agencies and private ventures are increasingly investing in novel approaches to space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. Initiatives like Breakthrough Starshot aim to develop technology for interstellar travel and exploration potentially opening up new vistas for studying exoplanets up close the role of artificial intelligence AI in analyzing vast astronomical datasets couldn't be more significant AI algorithms are being deployed to enhance the efficiency and accuracy of data analysis helping scientists sift through. Terabytes of data collected by telescopes like the JWSD and ELT these algorithms can detect. Patterns anomalies and potential signs of extraterrestrial activity that might elude human observers moreover international collaborations in space science and exploration are paving the way for shared resources expertise and knowledge sharing efforts projects such as the Square Kilometer Array SK and the European Space Agency's Plato mission are poised to make substantial contributions to our understanding of exoplanets and the search for life beyond Earth I in conclusion while the quest to Find extraterrestrial life remains an ongoing challenge. Recent advancements in technology instrumentation and observational techniques provide hope and excitement for future discoveries. The James Webb Space Telescope, along with upcoming observatories like the Yeli, represents the vanguard of our exploration of the cosmos as we continue to push the boundaries of scientific inquiry. Each groundbreaking observation brings us closer to answering humanity's age old question Are we alone in the universe? The search for extraterrestrial civilizations is not only a scientific endeavor, but also a philosophical and existential journey that addresses our place in the universe and the nature of intelligence itself, whether through radio transmissions, infrared signatures, or the detection of megastructures, humanity's curiosity and ingenuity drive us forward in this extraordinary journey of cosmic exploration.